What is up, my friends? Uh, I totally already recorded an F-Zero Let's Play, but the, uh, but Cam Studios frame rate, frame rate was kind of terrible, and it looked weird. And you know what? I can totally do better than that. So, let's go over our vehicles here. Have the Blue Falcon. Kind of the, uh, the most balanced vehicle. Uh, its acceleration is average and blah 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 blah. Okay. Next, Golden Fox. Lowest max speed, best acceleration. Really, really slidey and very light, easily damaged. Um, on the bright side, though, it recharges its energy really fast. Generally pretty terrible. Um, Wild Goose. Probably about as terrible as the Golden Fox for different reasons. Acceleration's not great. Top speed's okay. It's mostly pretty grippy, but meh. And it doesn't recharge for shit. Finally, we have the uh, Fire Stingray, which is generally considered the best. Even though its acceleration is absolute garbage, its um, max speed is really impressive, and it's like a tank. However, I personally favor the, uh, the Blue Falcon. Has absolutely nothing to do with me loving Captain Falcon a lot. Nope, none at all. Alright, so let's get started. And, um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing I did in my previous Let's Play. Oh my god, get out of my way! Okay, so, aside from the fact that I'm starting to suck a lot faster than I did in my let's play before. Um, I'm just gonna go through all three leagues uh, on uh, beginner difficulty. Because you know what? I'm not very good at this game and I don't feel like getting my butt handed to me. I mean, I'm decent. Certainly a lot better than I was when I started. But yeah. Um, this is actually a really cool game and um, in the few months that I've been playing it, is quickly become a favorite. Um, I mean, it really holds up despite how old it is. I mean, as you can tell, it's on the SNES. Um, it uses Mode 7 uh, to uh, graphics to create the illusion of 3D in a 2D game, which I think is just the coolest thing. This was, I think, either the first game or among the first games to use that. Um, I mean, don't quote me on that. But, um, it was definitely innovative for its time, and it's like, like, imagine being a kid at, at that time with an SNES, like, oh man, this new game came out, F-Zero, looks cool. Like, whoa, high-speed racing, 3D environment, oh, this is so cool. I, I, I'm, I, I'm just a huge nerd for this stuff. It's so interesting just to see how... Like, this is where all the- this is the sort of thing that all these games we play now came from. Before we had all fancy graphics and physics engines and stuff. So, I'm excited to be playing, like, old games like this. And it still holds up very well. It's still very fun to play. Fairly intuitive, just as, uh, it has a similar feel to the, um, newer F-Zero games as far as- Yeah, it, it definitely feels like you're driving a hover car. Because it's all slidey, unless you're driving the Fire Stingray. In which case, it will generally go exactly where you want it, unless you're at high speeds. Um, rambly, rambly, rambly. I win! Um, so yes. I like this game. Um, yeah, so, um, I already told the story of why I started playing it. Wait. Oh, crap. Even though I stopped talking to focus on the beep, I still missed it. Good job. I'm really... I can usually time the start pretty well, but... I'm pretty... I'm also pretty good at pressing the button too late. Oh well. Um... That's it. I'm normally not one for racing games. Oh sweet, thanks for getting in my way, bro. Um... But yeah, I'm usually not one for racing games. Um... I'm usually pretty terrible at the ones I do play, but, um, this game, oddly enough, got me into it, um, 
My, like God knows, my friend Justin, who's a huge nut for racing games, um, has tried to get me into um, his various preferred games countless times, but um, what's the one that did it? Um, I mean, it does have to do with, oops, oops, oh, that didn't go well. The fact that I already know and like at least one character from it. It's like, it, it's fun, it's creative, and it's pretty, and it's not just driving cars really fast. It's like these cool hover cars in a futuristic environment. Yeah. It's cool. Also, how many racing games do you get where, you, where your vehicle looks like kind of like a plane? And knowing me, the big aerospace engineering nerd that I am, if it looks like a plane, I want it. Um, so yes, that's also why I like the Blue Falcon in particular. Because, um, you can't really tell with the, uh, the sprites, but, I mean, you might have been able to tell on, like, the select screen. But, it has, like, little wings and stuff, and it's very streamlined, and, uh, rather more similar to a plane than to a racing car. A race car, there we go. Words. Right. Um, so yeah. Since I'm a big aerospace nerd, that strikes my fancy. Also, it's blue. I like blue. I like purple better, but blue is nice. Um. Oh crap. I was about to comment on how well I'm doing. Like, how I'm avoiding those darn football helmet looking things getting my, in my way. But just as I'm about to say it, I ram into one. Well. And that guy, the flashing ones, explode if you ram into them, which kind of sucks. Mm. Those have done me in multiple times. Wow, look at how well I'm doing. Might have something to do with it being the two easiest courses on- wait. Yeah. On, uh, beginner mode. But, you know. You know. Wee! Oops. Stupid. Darn golden fox getting in my freaking way. Man, the golden fox is like the biggest douchebag in this game. Which is hilarious because the character who drives it is supposed to be like a fairly decent guy. So, go figure. It's partly just because it has the highest acceleration so it's always in front of you at the start of a race. Oh crap. I just screwed all that up pretty badly. But, um... So you just have to get past him no matter what, unless you're driving the Golden Fox. But why would you be driving the Golden Fox? Like, come on. Oh crap. And there he is. He's in front of me again. And now everyone's in front of me because of that stupid football. Oh boy. Well. This race has gone to shit pretty fast. That's okay, I have my boost spot coming up. Oh, come on! Nice. Just... Fantastic. Oh my god. I just can't win in this one. For some reason I'm off my game. Oh well. We're back on track. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I did too well on the first two. It was not to last. Kinda jinxed me, I guess. Come on, come on. Yeah! Nope. I have to get past Pico, Mr. Turtleface, and his and his wild goose. It honestly looks more like a turtle than a goose. Why doesn't he just call it like a turtle or something? It's the only one that doesn't have a color name, I think. Well, no, Fire Stingray, but still, fire evokes a sense of color. Uh, but yeah. So yes. Um. So, um, I'm debating whether to do Let's Plays of the other F-Zero games, um, or at least some of them. I don't really want to play GP Legend or anything, or the Japan-only ones, like Climax. Um, but, uh, I'll probably, like, at oh crap, I'll probably at least play a little bit of, um, of X and GX. Come on. Yeah! Couldn't tell if I made first before crossing the finish line or not there, but doesn't matter now. 
Um. There we go. Um. GX? I'm debating whether or not to do a full Let's Play of it because the story mode is kind of a nightmare. But, you know, we'll see. See if I'm in the mood to be particularly cruel to myself. I am still in the process of trying to beat that stupid thing on very hard mode. And and that's with save states and stuff. Alright, first place again. Let's see how I did. Oh sweet, it did register me as being in first on that previous lap. Alright. Alright, so, looking at this course, you look at the bottom left, doesn't look so bad, right? Wrong. See how I moved to the side just there? That wasn't my doing. It's called Death Wind. It is literally wind that will kill you. It's a very apt name. And the only course that I dislike more than... God damn. Ah. The only course that I dislike more than this one is Death Wind 2. As you can tell... Oh my god, I missed all of the boost pads. So we're off to a great start. Yeah, this course is just a huge nightmare. It's constantly buffeting you to one side or the other. And boost actually negates the effects of the wind. Which honestly only throws you off more. Because then, ah, if you're angling to one side or the other to, to counter the wind, crap. Then, um, and of course the AI always gets the boost pads. Crap, jeez, I'm being terrible today. But if you angle to one side or the other to combat the wind, then boosting will suddenly cause you to fly into the side. Especially with the boost pads where you have to really angle to get at them. Yep, you see there? Oh my god. And this recharge strip is like the worst placed thing ever. More often than not, you hurt yourself trying to recover energy there. Oh my god, oh my god, losing control, we're good. This is my favorite spot to boost, though, because of those uh, patches. Because first of all, it saves you the effort- oh my god, stop! Oh, there we go. Smashing into the walls. Smashing. Um, saves you the effort of going around the little rough patches. And also, since the AI will always avoid the rough patches, they'll, um, you, you'll, if you time it right, you'll just be able to slip by them without having to maneuver. Like so. Oh crap. Oh crap. I paid for my smugness. Always pay the price for smugness. No, Wombat looking like she's good at playing video games? Ugh, not allowed. Can't have that. And I'm gonna fail on the last lap, as is my want. Oh man. You know what? I'm done. Deathwind complete. I'm fine with second place. I hate this course. Okay. Last, uh, last course in this... Hold on. New In this, uh, league. No wind! Woohoo! This is, um, this is a really nice musical track. I like it a lot. And those are mines. Uh-huh. And I fucked that up about as badly as I could have. Without hitting, like, all the mines. This is the first course that really, really threw me for a loop. Aside from Sand Ocean, when I was still learning how to uh, do how to corner. Um, because that one, you either sink or swim in Sand Ocean. <laughs> so to speak. Um, because that one will just... It's just, as you saw, the hairpin turns. But yeah, this one, these turns are ridiculous. I like to boost there, just in, like, on that straightaway, because first of all, it's straight. And second of all, if you miss that, um, that jump pad, you still have a little bit of leftover boost to get you through. Use boost to get through. <laughs> um, but yes. Despite how difficult some of these courses are, this is indeed the easiest, um, oops set of courses in the game. Oh, there we go. Ugh. I'm doing really poorly on this one. 
Though I've been handling that S-curve like a champ so far. Of course, with uh, two laps to go, that's probably not a smart thing to say. Because now, watch as I just bash into all the sides everywhere on both other times that I take that S-curve. Oh! Oh, man. Avoided the explosion only to smash into all the walls. Jeez. But yes. Here we go. Aw, oh, sweet! I got this! Took me so long to learn that S-curve. Man, these guys are starting to get annoying. I've managed to avoid them so far, but man... They're making my maneuvering difficult. Okay. Okay. I do like the color scheme in this place. Very purple. I like purple. Kind of a purple and mint green. Oh god. Jeez. Oh no. Well, there we go. There's the price I paid for my smugness on the, uh... Oh crap, and the finish line's coming up. No. No. Damn it. That's what I get. Ah. Should have held on to my other Let's Play and did so much better. Look at how well I did on Mute City. One's all the way. Just, just look at that. Look at Big Blue. Just ones. Did so well. Oh. But yes. Oh, you can see the uh, Blue Falcon looks like a plane. Yeah. Did okay on Sand Ocean. I love the uh, fire stingray in this game. It looks so dorky. It's just a big circle. Did okay on Deathwind. Actually, almost identical to the Sand Ocean, looks like. <laughs> but, um... Yes. Can you imagine how excited- oh, One's all the way, except for that last lap. That's so annoying. S-curve ruined me. Like, the first time someone played F-Zero X. It's like, oh man, 3D, it's so pretty! Alright, let's see how I stacked up. It's not too bad, kind of average. Okay, middle. Oh man, that's pretty sad. Though those are the ones that have played the most often. Oh no, that's not what I meant to. Well, that is my favorite course, Red Canyon 2. Oh boy. Pretty bad. Oh sweet, that was actually a pretty good run on Silence, despite that last lap. So that's good. There's one good takeaway from this. Alright. Well... Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time with the Queen League. Oh. See you later.